Secretary of Veterans Affairs Robert Wilkie and Terrell County, Texas Sheriff Thaddeus Cleveland. All right, uh, Mr. Secretary, you fired thousands of people who are not worthy employees of the VA. The Biden administration rehired them, and now they're serving illegal migrants with funds and resources that are much needed for veterans right now. How do you feel about that? Uh, well, first of all, brought them back with back pay. Oh, yeah. Even the 2,000 who we let go for grievous mis misconduct. Carl, let me let me start at the beginning. When Biden came in, his VA secretary, who never served, uh, said he had four priorities, transgender, union prerogative, remote work, and di diversity, equity, inclusion, which is interesting in an institution that has 48 percent African-American employees. What word is missing from those four priorities? Veterans. That's right. They've wrecked choice, which you and I have talked about a lot. That was our way of trying to get around a lot of the problems that we inherited. And in the last year of the uh, Trump administration, more than half of the veterans in our on our rolls were sent to the private sector. Um, they killed that. They want them all in government health care. The other thing that you mentioned was the appeals process. We modernized that. We brought in professionals from the Department of Defense. We cut the appeals time down. We cut the appeals processing down. Yeah. What did this administration do? It brought back union hands so that instead of having a quick couple this of is... days in the system, it had to go through 20 union hands just to it's begin so the processing. Uh, so it... that... That is what what we have with this administration. Remember, but, Biden, Obama, Biden brought you Phoenix. Yeah, no, absolutely, they did. But look, look, Sheriff, on, on the other side of this, you guys are dealing with massively overrun streets, and people like Greg Abbott and Ron DeSantis, they're shipping them up to the places who are like, "Hey, we're a sanctuary city, bring them in." And now Eric Adams is warning that New York City's out of room, and people are going to be sleeping on the streets. How long before they think they said, "Oh, if you're a business owner or a landowner and you have vacant spot, I'm going to mandate you put these people up in there." Hey, look what, what Governor Abbott's done. You know, the last two years we've spent. $10 billion of Texas taxpayer oh. money. I'll tell you what, I, I'd love to see that money go somewhere else. Um, I used to be a school board president here in my local community, but let me tell you what, um, we wouldn't have schools if it wasn't for Governor Abbott protecting our border. Look, we're, we're continuing to see um, you, you know, people crossing in our areas. Yes, the numbers have gone down, but we're still showing a, a forest border. But uh, let, that point you made about you know ICE getting ready to release 16,000 aliens, look, all we gotta do is, we president could reach out to DOD, Department of Defense, and, and get them to assist us at the border. They've done it before under President Trump. I told you I was at U.S. Army North, where, mm -hmm. where they assist us with a tremendous amount of infrastructure at the border. Look, our military is ready to go, and, and we could use planes to fly them back to the countries they're from. Yeah, well, Mr. Secretary, you were obviously number you know two or three at the DO, at the Department of Defense for a while before the VA. I mean, look, when I was in Iraq, you have a bunch of guys throw up a huge tent that holds 400 people in like 39 minutes. They can surround the thing with T-walls and barbed wire. They could probably make a detention center for these people with better living conditions than I had over in Iraq that I volunteered for. Why don't we do that? Well, because that's not the goal here. The goal, as you stated in your monologue, is to release as many people into the country as possible, wear down the Congress so that in the next two or three years, if there's a Democrat president, they're going to offer amnesty to millions and say, we'll stop this next year. This is to completely uh, change our nation. It's once, the, And the first goal is to destroy the state of Texas, because if they take that out of the Republican column, there won't be a Republican president for as far yeah. as we can see into the future. Well, Thaddeus, uh, you know, <laughs> how's that working out? Do you think Texas is going to take that land down? Not at all. I'll tell you, we're, we're here to fight. Um, it, again, 26 years with the United States Border Patrol, two years as a sheriff now, I, I, I'm not going to give up. Um, and I'm not going to give up supporting our U.S. Border Patrol agents. Uh, even I've mentioned that this administration is trying to pit the federal Border Patrol agents against our, our state law enforcement. It's not going to happen. We're not going to let it happen. Yeah. Well, thank God. We appreciate both of you guys standing up very much. Uh, that is Cleveland and uh, Secretary Robert Wilkie. Appreciate it.